Hello, welcome pen friends. I have, this is an exciting day. It's a new pen day for me. And I ordered this little uh, Moon Man demonstrator pocket pen off of eBay. I hadn't seen them before and all of a sudden there it was. <laughs> and uh, you know, I've got quite a thing for pocket pens. <clears throat> but I tried to find out more about this before I ordered it, thinking there'd be reviews or people showing it, and I just couldn't find anything. But it won't be long because I can see that the seller that I bought this from has already sold like 79 of them, so it won't be long. But I thought I would just uh, share with you the uh, looking at this, opening it, and inking it up because it's, it's kind of exciting. <laughs> um, it actually, I ordered it on the 13th of May, 2021, and it arrived today, May 28th. So that's like 15 days. It didn't really take that long. From China. Um, interestingly, though, let's take a look at the packaging real quick. Uh, okay, it was packaged very well. The box was inside all of this uh, really thick amount of bubble wrap. And then it did say that it came from... California, but underneath there's another little uh, packet, so I have no idea. It says U UPS Mail Innovations. It must be however it is that they fulfill their orders. So here it is. <laughs> it's a little eyedropper. Very unusual to me looking one. I, I thought it was just, just amazing. Um, let's see if I can get it held up. Let's see, there's my hand, uh, so you could see the size. It's not particularly small, but in just a minute, I mean, it's larger than many of my pocket pens, but we're going to look at it in comparison to the other Moon Man uh, pocket pen that I have. And they had four colors when I ordered. They had green, brown, and black. And then they had the clear demonstrator. And I did kind of... Um, you know, finagle around about it, but I, there's something about having it clear and being able to see what's going on that I really like, even though I'm a glutton for stains, I guess. But but uh, I really thought the others were pretty too, and I was just on a budget, or I would have gotten all four, I guess, but it was $22.45. So, um, it has a clip, and it seems like kind of a heavy-duty clip too. It actually appears to be one you could take off but I don't know I don't have the benefit of <laughs> what anyone else has done I don't want to break it so um, I usually really to be honest I rely on people like Chris Rap 52 and uh, you know other people at least showing even if it isn't in a language I know I can look at it and find out what I can do with the things but that's really quite a cap isn't it <laughs> okay and then it looks like a number six nib which is really that caught my eye um, it's a fine nib, but for a pocket pen, I don't mind that. And if I don't like it, I can always switch it out. So, and then here we go. Let's see. Down here is where we'll put the ink. That looks like a pretty good size. It's hard to estimate because the diameter is smaller than a sample vial. But uh, I would guess at least two and a half mils, but we'll see. <laughs> Okay, and then uh, the threads, that'll be where I'll grease it up, I guess. But it's got a pretty good uh, little, I guess you'd call that a gasket. I don't know, that's nice. That's quite nice. Hmm. And it's a real thick end. You're seeing this with me, really, so that's why it's taking so long. I don't mean to. Um, I was trying to figure out what this is all about. It seems to be decoration, though, because... There's there's no uh, special threading for posting, and I hate to scratch it, so I don't know. Hmm. I can put it on there, but yeah, I just don't want to scratch it. <laughs> I, I'm a chicken, and uh, my hand is okay to write with this without posting it. So it's an unusual little pen. But let's go ahead. Uh, well, first it came with some papers, but I opened these papers, and they sure didn't look like the pen we we've got at all so <laughs> they're they're just a paper doesn't do us a whole lot of good and then it did come with a little eyedropper which is nice that's a nice one we might we might use that okay so let's go ahead and compare it to a few other pocket pens because i think that would be useful i'm gonna make it a little closer just to try to help us Okay, so uh, this is the one I use all the time. This is the Moon Man Mini Wankai. So that'll give you a, we'll begin to get an idea of the size. 
got a couple of those, but I guess just one is fine. Uh, then this is a little uh, Stipula Passaporto. Okay, and we'll put that there. It'll probably roll around because it doesn't have much keeping it there. Um, this is a Twisby Mini. We'll try to put that on this side. Much more slender. You can see that you've got a lot of girth, a lot of <laughs> interest there. Uh, a Caveco uh, Sport, Ice Sport in blue. Let's see, I think that's we've just about exceeded our the right hand side there where we could put things. Um, this is a little Le Bon um, Expressions, and that's a, another thin one too, but it's it's a comparable height, I think. But it's much slimmer. And then, well, these aren't really fair because these are all met well, metal and plastic. So I have a, a vintage Waterman 52, but it just doesn't compare because it's not a demonstrator in any way. And it's it's uh, more of a, it, it, it is a vintage pen. And then I've got a Caveco Lilliput. And a, uh, this is a Traveler's, oh my goodness. What am I doing? I need to do a review on this pen because I can't remember what it is. But it's a—it's definitely a Traveler's Company uh, fountain pen, and it uh, posts like this. But it's brass, and it looks like it—it's living in South Texas, so <laughs> it's gotten quite a patina on it. Okay, we'll put the Lily Put too. So that's just a. I, I don't have tons of pocket pens, but I love them, and I love whenever they're demonstrators. So that—that that kind of adds to it for me. Um, so there. We've compared it, but now we need to do a little bit of, of, I think, weight or something, even though this isn't a full review. Let's just... Okay, let's see how much it weighs, just for the heck of it. Should be set to grams. Yeah, it's set to grams. It's not a lightweight pen. Uh, it says hold. 35.7. <laughs> I don't know if it's still deciding or what, but there it is. Okay, let's take that off, and let's put the other... All right, I need to put the Moon Man that is doesn't have any ink, because to make it fair. Ah, okay, that says 12. So that's quite a difference. That's a hunking pen. Let's see. We can get the same number twice. 36.2 this time. I don't know what it said last time. 36.2. Oops. Let's go to zero. Okay. 12. So it's more than double the weight of the little moon man. <clears throat> okay. The other thing I wanted to check into was the grip. Because that's quite a bit bigger. Let, let me hold that up. Oh gosh. What happened here? Oh, that's some sloppy pen cleaning. Don't look at that. Okay. But let's see. You see the difference there? Because this is a comfortable grip here. And this is like really big. So that's quite, <laughs> that's quite a grip. And you know, I have quite a bit of tolerance in terms of a pocket pen because you're not expecting to write a letter with it, probably, or a essay or a, a, a bunch of notes. It's usually for jotting. So, but let's see how we come out here. I got a measuring stick here somewhere. I'd just like to compare that. <clears throat> Been a while since I've used this. <laughs> okay, off on. All right, I just wanted to get an idea here. I could say approximately 10 millimeters on the little moon man. <clears throat> ah, no, this is bigger. Let's see, where am I going to want to measure? Maybe, maybe just down where I would grip it. So, whoop, I just heard the sound of a drink opening. <laughs> okay, it looks like about... 14. I don't want to scratch anything. So 14. So it's not what I'd call totally uncomfortable, but I'd have to write with it for a while to see how that would feel. Let's see. Let's put this away before anything gets damaged. And 
And like I said, I'm not going to post it because I don't want to harm it. But let's put some ink in it and see what, what we can do here. I was thinking I would try Twisby Royal Purple. All right, I got just about everything I can think of here because I will want to saturate that nib, but I'm just going <clears> to <throat> bring all my... I got my brand new silicone grease. This has got the Twisby Royal Purple as well. And let's see, the closest sample holder is this one. <clears throat> okay. We need to grease those threads first. And I should have had a good notebook. Well, I got something over there that I could use. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just grease these threads because I know that's going to go there. May not need to, but I, I would prefer to, so let's do that. big. I should have used my pinky. I think that would fit there better. Jeez, oh man. Okay, get that around there. Try not to get it everywhere. That's always fun. Yeah, I could see I'm going to have to wipe that off a little. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's no, probably too much. Oh, there's no such thing as too much. Just put it on there. Okay. <clears throat> I got an apron on, so I can wipe on that. Okay. Let's just get some ink in here so we can write with it. I can't wait. <clears throat> Might as well try using this, I guess. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to see how much ink I'm putting in. I'll be right back. Okay, I almost started... I came back and almost started doing this without including you guys, and you're here, you're with me, so. Okay, let's see if we can get about three mils in here, something like that. Check and see where we're at there. Well, that's approximately three mil, because I want to know how much this is going to hold, so. Or at least closely, I, you know, sort of, ballpark, I guess. Oh, we got a funny little fruit fly there. Oh, okay. All right. I don't want to go up too far. And that, that was just about three mil. Huh. So it's going to, wow, that's pretty good. <clears throat> All right. Now this looks like an accident waiting to happen. Let's get this pen put back together and then I will wipe off the excess. Oh, dear. <clears throat> Got that little annoying gnat or whatever it is there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then I just really need to... Um, Make sure that I wipe. I know I can see a little bit of excess grease, and I certainly don't want that on my feet or nib or fingers or anywhere else. Okay. Woohoo! So, Twisby Royal Purple. It's a very pretty color. All right, so now we've done that. I've already put some over here because this is my little ink miser, and I do like to go ahead and saturate the nib. I don't want to sit here and wait for the pen to be ready to write. I don't have that kind of patience on a good day, so, <clears throat> okay. Just, you know, this this will saturate the feet and the nib. I probably should have cleaned it, yes, but um, <clears throat> I just like to <laughs> do, <laughs> break rules. Okay, that I'm going to throw away. I'm throwing that away. I'll get another paper towel because I don't have grease on this one. <clears throat> oh, isn't that interesting how that... Well, for heaven's sake... That's threaded. Is that why that's threaded? Remember I was making remarks about... Yeah. Oh, man. That, that's going to make for a mess. Okay. I want to be real careful in my cleaning because you see how that purple already filled in the, uh, the threads? Oh, gosh. Okay, well... Spit, here we come. Um, I want to clean as much of that out as I can because I know where that's going to go. <laughs> this is not an advertisement, is it? <laughs> oh, and I did buy this pen with my own money, my pen allowance money. So, oh my gosh, yeah, that's that's interesting. Okay, I got Q-tips here. <clears throat> but before I even do that, I think I better be 
putting some covers on all this ink before I end up with a purple bath here, which wouldn't be horrible, but probably make me scream. Okay, ink is closed. I didn't ever use the pretty eyedropper. The grease is put away. I'll clean that later. Okay, maybe. <laughs> it's not like an emergency or anything, but I, I can see where that ink is going to go, and you, you can too. You, we can predict that's going to end up in those threads. Huh. Very interesting. Maybe become a forever purple pen. Maybe there's some better way to do this, but I'm not getting a lot of that uh, ink out of there. I think we're going to have to live with the purple... Um, threaded yep okay but that's what first impressions are all about I guess okay let's get some paper see how it writes um, I've got Tomoe River paper in this little um, Kuku Kukuyo notebook that came in an ink flight and I'm gonna go ahead and start a new page just to, for the heck of it okay so this is Moon Man are you close enough to see what I'm doing? <clears throat> this is an awkward video. Okay. Oh, it's smooth. Oh, and you know how I hate feedback and I don't like not smooth and there it's just smooth. So that's that's excellent. Oh, I am happy with that. That's quite a girth though. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to measure it again before I put it in the description because I already forgot. But that's quite um quite a grip on that oh this is nice not too much of that got on my fingers see I managed to get it off with the q-tip and the spit or whatever but huh I didn't do a real thorough job up here that's interesting though I was remarking about the threads I hate to close it now because I know what's I know that the ink from there probably will transfer onto those little threads that catch that, I guess. Wow, that's an interesting design. I don't know about it, but to those who just love seeing the purple everywhere, it won't matter. Okay, oh, it's really smooth. I wouldn't even have to use any micro mesh on this. Brown fox jumps over the lazy dog I was thinking about this and I almost um I almost inked it with purple rain but I have a huge demonstrator um opus 88 omar that I want to fill and I, I'm almost out of uh, purple rain so I thought no I'm gonna I have an extra I'm down to like here with the twisby but I have some more of that ink so I thought to myself, I better not use up that purple rain before I that's a nice writer it's a fine Number six, Moon Man nib, and it's just really smooth. As soon as I saw the nib, whoops, I'm trying not to rock the boat. I thought it looked nice and tipped and like it was a nice fine nib. And, you know, I don't like fine nibs, but, but with this, I won't mind it at all because it'll be for note-taking and it'll go in my pocket. Okay, I guess I got to close this, but I'm pretty sure what's going to happen, so... <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Yeah, that, that'll be a... Hmm. Okay, so if I'd been smart, maybe, or realized about that, I probably could have gotten a green, brown, or black one, and I wouldn't have that, but I like a demonstrator. So, and that's not going to bother me so much, I guess. Let's see. It doesn't really have a whole lot of... It doesn't grab... Like, it doesn't take very many turns. Let's see. Okay, completely closed. Okay. Oh, I don't know how to judge it. <laughs> it's still not coming out. I gotta do it again. Maybe I could do it better with... Okay, we're starting here. Well, one and a half, maybe almost two. Wow, I just fail at that. <laughs> I can't do that. Okay, but now let's look at those. I guess I cleaned the, the bottom part enough. It, it actually didn't yet transfer so maybe that's just but see how it, it, it did go down into there and stay there 
Oh my gosh. Now you know why I usually do a lot of stuff ahead of time. I don't usually just do a cold um, first impressions, but you know, completely. But this was exciting. I couldn't believe it arrived so quick. And it's my first, I was trying to think, it was my first order for a long time from China. Um, let's see, $22.45. Like I said, if it had been a little cheaper, I probably would have gotten, I really liked the other colors too. The brown was really pretty, the green and the black. I think these are probably gonna sell like hotcakes, even though they're odd and they might not be the most comfortable pen to write with. I don't know. I'll have to be determined. I guess this will go into my June uh, rotation. We're a little early. Today's the 27th of May. But I hope you like this first glimpse at it. It's got a great nib. It's unusual. It's cool. Um, <laughs> I like it a lot. It's got a massive ink capacity. And uh, it'll be fun. Yeah, I think you could carry that around in your pocket real securely. I can't imagine, you know, it had that, that little gasket thing. And, and then, of course, I greased the, the threads, so I'm not really worried about that. Huh, nice. Okay, so I'll put everything that I can think of and, and remind myself of in the description for you. And I'll, I'll also give you the seller. The seller is S-A-B-U-Y, but I'll put that in the description, kind of link it in case you're interested. Okay, and I'll see you on the next video. I'm actually preparing uh, my June pens. Uh, I've got a lot of inks already chosen, and I've got, I think, five of the pens. This makes six chosen, so I think I only have two more. I'm trying to include some more stub nibs this time, too. So um, I'll see you later. Bye for now.